So let's see. Are we live yet? Twitch TV says we are. Uh, advertisement. I don't care about your advertisements. Um, come on. But I guess I am live, right? So there are ads, which is kind of annoying. I don't think I ever monetized my stuff, but whatever. All right, so we are live and um, let me refresh that. Let me announce that real quick. Uh, there we go. Yes. Um, there we go. So comment here, live now. All right, um, announcement parts. So, why is my computer trying to fly away? Okay, I think that should be fine. Cool, so I now have the chat opened and we're live and we're running. So hello everybody and uh, welcome to another live stream for building products with JavaScript um, course. Um, there was quite a break because I was first traveling and then I got sick. Um, so basically I did not have like time uh, or health to like properly live stream and finish our um, thing. Let me close that part. Uh, but today we're going to fix it. So um, today I want to finish the um, uh, building the um, front end app because we prepared everything that is needed to actually complete the um, uh, front end. And um, I want to at least start doing the logic. Um, I think we're probably not going to do the whole thing today uh, because that will take quite a lot of time, but I think we can at least um, uh, do the um, authentication today. So uh, that's what I'm going to focus on. Let me just re-verify that I'm actually live here because um, Twitch still shows me I am offline, which is kind of weird but no it seems to be seems to be live so we're good all right cool um yeah so we're, we're gonna try to do the oath part and then um see how that goes maybe we'll do a bit more right so uh let's do let's start with actually looking at what we had before i think i would need some code refactoring because right now it's just all like um in the files here cluttered uh, or you know at least uh, a bit too condensed, let's say so. All right, so we have our root epic and root reducer here. And um, as you can see, they combine the reducers that are inlined, which is okay, because we have one reducer, but if we would have epics and reducers, like more than one, then basically, um, that is not comfortable, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create a reducers and um, epics folders here. And I'm gonna move those um, hello world, epics and reducers in there. So we're gonna be hello world JS. And uh, it's gonna be export uh, const hello world. Now, is the question how do I do that in a sort of in a convenient way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and create actions folder as well uh, and uh, move this action types over here. I'm going to rename that to no wait, that's action types. Is that what I care? Yeah, I care about um, Yeah, no, okay, action types can be here. I think actions themselves will have to be moved over here, right? So and uh, obviously this is going to be higher. So for now, we'll leave this as one file and going to rename it to index.js. And this way, I think we don't even have to change anything in the source code. Okay, now let's have a look at the epics. So uh, this has to be folder higher. We got observable. Yes, um, this is export hello world. And then I'm going to do index.js and uh, I'm going to import all the epics. So we're going to import hello world from hello world, right. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to export an array of um, those of all epics that are here, basically, right, uh, export default. Yes, that's what I want. So when we import epics uh, here, 
from our epics folder, what I can do is I can actually just expand them over here. And that theoretically should uh, make it work as intended, right? So let's um, npm start it. And uh, actually check that uh, it works. Where's my inspect? Uh, there we go. So we are good. And uh, that should be working perfectly fine. Great. So we uh, refactored epics. Let's uh, do uh, that. I think I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna just open a new terminal window here and uh, go into the client bit and do npm start here just to have it in the background basically. Right. And uh, here we can basically commit that stuff. Um, get CISM, um, refactor epics into new um, separate the uh, separate folder, right? And uh, we are going to do the same with reducers. So we got the root reducer and uh, we're going to create here. Um, hello world JS. Come on. So uh, yeah, I can close those because we don't really need them anymore. Epics as well. Um, so I'm going to copy that part. Um, export const hello world. Cool. Uh, we need action types. We need our initial state, right? Uh, there we go. So this should be a level higher. Why does Twitch dashboard still says I'm offline? That's like blatant lies. Come on, Twitch. Like it shows me actually the video and the chat preview now, but it says I'm offline, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay. Uh, to help with you, Twitch. Um, what? Okay. I've got some people calling me. Um, I don't think I had anything planned today. All right. Um, where was I? Right. So we need to do what? We need to actually export. In this case, we need to create index.js. And we need to um, import hello world uh, from hello world, right? And in this case, we need to export object, right? So because um, this is what the combined reducers takes. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to import reducers from obviously reducers and I'm going to export and them here, right? So this way, it's gonna expand all the properties into the corresponding reducers. And it's theoretically should work uh, in a exactly same way as it did before. Let's test that out. And that seems to be working just fine. So let's commit that. Um, git add, git commit. Um, so we're just gonna be lazy and uh, do that reducers into new separate folder. Cool. So now we have a bit more uh, same structure that is extendable, basically. And uh, we can start with um, adding some um, authentication code, basically. But before we do that, uh, we actually need another terminal over here, where we will start our server, right? Because we will authenticate with the server. So let me remember how to run it. So I think we got npm run db. Um, what was it create? Yep, exactly. So now we have our um, database running. Cool. Um, npm start should start our uh, backend. Okay, so it's now it's port 8080. Right. Um, uh, we have some deprecation warnings from somewhere. But I guess that comes down to updating the dependencies, which also might be a good idea to do at some point. All right, so uh, we got the server running. So let's start actually by um, have some uh, warnings here. Okay, let's start by um, creating a new page, I guess. So we got a home page now. And I think I will refactor that part as well. So I'm going to create a new pages folder. I'm going to move home over there. And I'm going to move other over there. And I'm going to move not found over there. So we're going to have our pages stuff here. And um, obviously, I have to say pages and uh, I broke atom. 
There you go. So um, theoretically, file or do ah, I guess I have to restart because of that. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. You cannot resolve that. Oh yeah, because I'm yeah. That's not the problem. The problem is that I import the app, so it has to be like this, which is a bit annoying, but. Um, yeah, that's the only way I have to change it and now it should work. Okay, cool. So we're working. Now I have all our pages. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rename the other into um, out screen. So we're gonna, um, I wonder if I want to have like login. And, no, I don't want to have login and register the same screen, right? So it's gonna be login here. And um, yes, so we're gonna say it login screen for now. So that's all I want. And um, obviously here it's gonna be login. We wouldn't really need the other page, right? And a bit login and uh, it should be under login path. Okay, so now the thing is that we actually need to um, validate the authentication and redirect when required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new reducer here. Let's duplicate this and it's going to be auth reducer. Um, so auth uh, initial state is going to be for now authenticated, uh, cated, um, it's going to be false. But I don't think we need that. So it's going to be token null, right? So we're going to use the token authentication. So basically, we're just going to say, okay, there is no token right now. Uh, and uh, in this case, we don't really have any cases right now. So we're just going to return the default state. And I'm going to comment this out to evade the warnings. Okay, um, so let's see react router. Uh, I wonder if actually they released the new version and we can migrate to the v4. Um, but I don't think so. It's still a yeah, 33. Now uh, we are using v3, right? Uh, package JSON react router. No, it's 28. Okay. That is a bit weird. Uh, version instability, blah, blah, blah. Um, are the changes that be okay, let's you know what, let's do that uh, yarn outdated. So what do we have as outdated uh, router three react router redux four seven history four four okay most of them are actually minor versions so let's do uh, yarn um, what was it yarn upgrade upgrade yeah yarn upgrade it might be a good idea to actually stop the uh, webpack for now let's see how that goes and if it breaks anything for us. Okay. So get new FS events version. I'm by the way switched to node version seven. So far it worked uh, pretty well. Updated uh, React router. Okay, yarn. Um, how do you update to major version? Yarn log. Blah, 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 upgrade. Um, can I just say yarn help? Okay, yarn help upgrade. Flags offline, prefers inverse trick, global folder, blah, 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 mute. Okay, so yarn upgrade uh, react router. Will you upgrade it like this? Yes, you will. Okay, so now we actually outdated now we actually have everything at the latest so I can do npm start here again and we can make sure that nothing actually broke let's see um, it loaded and uh, yeah the all not found works fine and if we do login it's okay so it seems to be working just fine and let's make sure the redux part is still intact um, yeah, it seems to be working okay. So oh, good. Um, our update didn't break anything. Um, that's a good thing and a good point to actually. So package JSON and yarn lock. Um, let's check. We okay. So updated everything. I haven't. So those were related to me moving part things around. So I'm gonna commit. Um, 
update dependencies to actual versions. And uh, once we have that, okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I was going to React Router to actually have a look at the their authentication example because there is a function uh, login. Yeah, this is the pretend request. This is not what I want. Um, there is a function you can provide to the root that will be executed basically before um, <laughs> before switching to the root. Um, that's where we can. Yeah, there we go. Require oath. Um, so I guess we are going to create util folder here. And I'm going to create require um, oath JS thing here and um, export const require oath next date replace. Yes. Uh, so this is going to be our function. And uh, the thing is, so we have to reference this in here, right? Um, now the question is, is there actually a Redux solution? Redux um, React Router. Yeah, they probably have example there with authentication, right? So this is where I want to... Oh, this is server side. This is basic. Let me see. Which navigation events? No, that's not what I'm interested in. What if I issue a navigation event via Redux? No. Basic starter kit. Um, <laughs> okay. Place location, history, road reducer. I mean, I can just get um, store here from as a reference, right? So from the, uh, like I can't just do that, right? That theoretically should work just fine. And in this case, store is our, yeah, store. So I should be able to just say store, um, hey, where's Redux docs, uh, Redux JS, yeah, whatever. Show me the docs. Um, I mean, what I'm interested in is basically I need to just get the state and actually read the um, uh, oath uh, part of it, right? Blah, 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 blah. Where's the API? Yeah, there we go. Store. And that's what I want. Get state. There we go. Um, so store, get state, oath, and uh, token is what I'm interested in. Exactly. So state name, what the hell is this? Um, let me reformat this a bit. So we replace path name state. Ah, okay, this is basically we're saying where to redirect after successful login. Yeah, why not? Let's leave it. Okay, and um, what I'm gonna do here as well is I'm gonna do index.js so that we have an easier time importing stuff and I'm gonna do exports uh, from require oath, right? Okay, um, ta -da -da, yeah, import require oath from util, that's what we want. And uh, what was the name of the uh, parameter on enter, right? So we just say that index root is now protected and everything else is not for now at least, right? So if we do that, probably token of undefined. Uh, did I screw up something? So let's uh, console log store get state. So what's actually the state there? Hello world routing. Um, did I forgot to include the um, auth reducer? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm yeah. I mean, obviously, it's like every time I get some error, that's because I'm an idiot. Uh, come on, Auth. Um, and I think I'm just gonna split it by line so that it's easier to actually read that. And now we should be working. There we go. So uh, it successfully redirected us to the um, login screen. Um, we don't need this console log here anymore. Um, yes, yes, we don't need that. We don't need that now. Okay, we need that. We don't care about that for now. And uh, here's our login screen. So um, we are using Twitter Bootstrap. 
what was it get bootstrap I think yeah so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, they had some nice templates uh, here for a login screen that I can just basically copy and use basic templates no examples there we go Da, 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 no, no. Eh, why not? Let, let's assemble one ourselves. So basically, let's take something like this, I guess. Um, view source. So we have the container set up, and uh, basically, what I want is Jumbotron, right? So we're gonna have here a Jumbotron uh, class name Jumbotron, yes. Um, gonna say um, what was the I, I keep forgetting how I, I named that thing so it's experts portal right experts portal um, and uh, let's have a look at the jumbotron CSS stuff not a not here um, wait 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 is this CSS uh, or is it in a components I think right yeah um, come on jumbotron here we go. Um, so we're gonna H1 is gonna be Hello World. Yeah, P is a subtitle. Okay, cool. So here we're gonna say here, <clears throat> please log in. That's it for now. So if I refresh that, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too pretty, but uh, whatever. Let's just go with it for now. Okay, uh, and we are gonna have a login form over here. So let's do for now just inputs, uh, input type text, and then uh, input type password, right? So in theory, yeah, there we go. So we have our input um, password and uh, where's our forms? It's got input groups. Yeah, we can use that. That looks nice enough. So we can um, take this thing, class uh, class name. This is like one of the, um, I guess, most annoying parts about writing React uh, JSX code is the fact that you have to like always do the class name because class is registered um, keyword in JavaScript, obviously. Uh, so username, type text, class name, class form, placeholder username. Uh, we don't need this area for now at least. I mean, if you want to do the whole um, A11N stuff, then go ahead. Um, I don't think that this is a project that actually, you know, needs it. It's definitely good to have a like production ready thing. Uh, but for uh, this project, I think we're fine. Password, placeholder, password. Um, password, there you go. So that looks uh, not very nice. Uh, so maybe we should do it without add-ons. Um, wait, there was the forms. They had a nice form somewhere around that I copied last time. Uh, maybe we can do the same. Right, there we go. That looks good. So let's just, let's just take the whole form. So let me remove that. You know, why invent things when you can just take nicely made things and adopt them to whatever you um, need basically so input email uh, username like right? regular username let's call it username U username there we go um, form control yes placeholder username and it should be text close the input tag form control um, this is gonna be input password Password, placeholder, password, close it. Yep, uh, we don't need file input here. We don't need, yeah, let's let's do the checkbox, why not? Um, actually, let's let's do that class name, there we go. Um, <laughs> input, checkbox, still remember me. Uh, I don't remember if I actually had, uh, okay, HTML for here what we need label uh, yeah that's the Ali warning HTML for uh, let's call that ID input remember HTML for input remember 
All right, um, we got the form closed. We got the buttons, log in. Uh, I think that should look relatively nice. There we go. Um, cool. So we got that part and uh, our, so basically what we need to do is we now need to connect this uh, with the store, right? So I'm gonna copy this part from here. Uh, not, I don't need all part, right? So um, I need to say that this is const login equals. So this is our login screen. Then I'm interested in uh, this part. So I'm gonna do that. This is our import. So okay, action we're gonna replace. We don't care about state here for now at least. And uh, yeah, but I still need that, right? So we are just gonna map it to an empty object for now. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we export default connect with login, right? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't need link here. That's true. Um, I don't need parentheses again around this part. I don't need parentheses again this part. And it's not used. That is true. So fine, whatever. We'll ignore that. So uh, on login click, let's call it this way. And we're going to dispatch. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and uh, in this case, we have hello world action and uh, I'm going to export const login action. So we're going to have a login action, which will say type action types uh, login. Let's call it do login to make it a bit more explicit, right? So action types um, export const. So this is going to be hello world uh, actions. Let's split them by categories to make it a bit easier to read. This is going to be auth actions, right? So do login, um, do login. It's going to be the same. All right, um, login action. There we go. So I'm going to import here login action and dispatch a login action. And um, then we need to have a look at home. How did yeah, so basically you map it to properties, which means here it's going to be on login click. And um, here on click, I am going to do, uh, but I actually need to pass it the uh, username, password and um, remember me thing, right? So what we are going to have to do here is we're going to set references. Um, let me think. So basically, I would need to actually split all of that stuff like so. And say that ref is equals. Um, how do you actually do references in in the stateless components? Functional component. Refs and DOM, yeah, that's what I want to do. Refs don't work on stateless components. Yes, they don't. I know that. Is it still the fact? Uh, find DOM, no, it's not. Okay, there's a huge discussion here. I mean, yeah, this is the way that I generally use it, but is there something wrong with this? Uh, ah, that's actually a good thing. So you basically you create that part, you create the input and then you map to it. So you just use a variable. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. So which means uh, we need to return that, right? So now we have like a proper function and then we're going to say let uh, username, passwords and no, it should be username input password input and uh, remember, remember input, right? And then we're going to say ref that uh, input and it will say uh, this is going to be username input equals I. Uh, wait, wait, what is it like our functions? Okay. Uh, so and then I'm going to do the same over here. Let me do that. Um, 
So this is going to be password input. And the last one is, um, no, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Um, erase that. No, I think we can leave it like this. And this is going to be um, remember input, right? And basically once we do on click, what we actually want to do is on uh, login click. And we want to pass it the values. So um, yeah, I think it, it will be easier to just create a new function. Handle click. So since we're already, you know, wrapping it in um, handle click, it's gonna do that. And um, there we go. So username is going to be user input uh, value. Password is going to be password input value. And remember is going to be remember input value. I hope that's actually a good way to do that. Um, okay, it wants me to split it. Why not? Let's split it. I don't mind. Um, it's going to be minified by that pack anyway. So we are good. But you don't the uh, prop types. Yeah, I don't think we care about prop types right now. State is defined but never used, so we're good here. But actually, this one will receive um, parameters which we want to pass to login action, right? And now we want to modify this login action to um, actually expand. Um, let's say it's gonna be a payload. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a payload, right? So let's do payload. So now you're happy. Okay, so the payload will actually get the um, our login password and remember me flag. And then it will get the type to login and we can handle that in our reducer. And in our epic. Okay, so right now, let's actually check that um, this works. So one to three ASD, remember me login. Um, and I want to do uh, prevent default event, right? Um, so E prevent default. So that's what we want because otherwise we will submit the form and refresh the whole thing and we don't really want that. Um, let's try that again. Uh, where's my Redux tools? There we go. Is D one of three? Remember me login. Do login uh, action payload. There we go. Cool. So that works fine. Um, I think we want to actually do that because we want the boolean um, boolean remember me thing, right? So this way it should be uh, true. And if I do it again, that should be. Is it true again? Because it's not value, right? Um, wait, what, what was it? Checkbox. Um, is it checked? I think it was checked. Is the one of three action uh, true? And if I remove it now, false. There we go. So now we have the payload that we want. And we can actually, uh, we need to actually create new epic oath JS, or I guess, I mean, I'm calling it a wolf, but no, it's fine. A wolf is fine, right? So we can uh, have both um, login and register there, which shouldn't actually stop us from um, anything. Okay, so this is going to be a do login type. And in this case, we are going to send an AJAX request. Um, um, switch map, we actually want the payload here. And um, we actually do map. Yeah, I mean, let, let's just let's just verify that it's actually there because I'm always terrified of doing stuff before checking uh, that it actually works. Okay, um, and I am now need to import oath from 
oath and we're gonna say yeah i'm gonna split that also oath there we go so one to three remember login and it just keeps going yeah okay um obviously because yeah that's that's exactly what they was talking about in the um what do you call it in the manual right for the redux observable that it will be just endless okay so we're gonna do a switch map here with a payload uh, the payload was exactly what we expected so we are gonna do um, no format you here we're gonna do observable um let's do it this way dot ajax and in this case we need to uh, send a request to our uh, backend which is running on 4080 so for now i'm gonna hard code that but we're gonna uh, change it later on and uh, now i have to remember how the hell do you actually log in in the um our backend because there's been a while since I touched it. Okay, so that's a good point to uh, go to tests. So we have our slash API login. Um, I think there was actually, wait, uh, rxjs. Ta -da -da. Okay, we don't need that. No, I closed the wrong one. So we don't need that anymore. We want what? We want documentation. <laughs> And we want to see the Ajax uh, request thing, right? Observable, and there should be Ajax uh, somewhere. The Ajax error, Ajax response. Um, see Ajax. I cannot click on that. Reference manual. Um, where did I find it last time? I don't remember. Yeah, they are lacking, definitely lacking in comparison to the old dogs. But let's have a look. Source, uh, we can, yeah, you know, even if the dogs are lacking, you can always have a look at the source, which uh, generally works just fine. Okay, so those are all methods. Ah, there we go, DOM and Ajax observable. Um, okay, we want this Ajax, I think. No, that's Ajax observable create. Okay. So I completely forgot how I did that. Oh God. Uh, okay, edge expression method. Yes. Okay, so it's gonna be observable. Uh, it's gonna be DOM if I understand correctly. Um, let me. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go here. It's gonna be Babel node. I'm gonna import. Uh, in what is are not supported? Ah, oh, come on. Cannot do that. Uh, do, 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 let me think. Okay, no, that's not what I want right now. I think it is observable DOM Ajax, and then we can just map. Uh, so there's going to be response, it's going to be res response, right? And uh, we're going to map that. We have to map it into a new um, thing that will be handled by reducer, right? And we are gonna map it into response. Uh, let's map it to type um, action types login success, uh, which we have to actually create first. So export const login success, login success, nothing fancy here. And then response, yeah, let's, let's name it correctly first of all. And uh, we actually have to conform to the same uh, format. So it's gonna be payload, it's gonna be response, right? That's what I wanna do. So, right, and I haven't used uh, payload. I think it's gonna be post, and how does this post your dead body? Okay, uh, payload, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now the question is, will that actually work or did I screwed up something? Uh, post to find defined. All right, yeah, so there is no post here. Cool. Um, is it... Where, 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 where does it actually comes from? Ah, damn it, come on. Um, okay, 
Ajax. How did I find it last time? A static Ajax. Ajax observable. Um, observable dot ah, it's just observable dot ajax okay is that what we want ajax error uh okay there is no access control origin stuff uh, which i guess we will have to add to the server so that's one of the things express course there was a module to do this so we can easily do this by just adding a module okay i'm gonna kill it for now and um yes there we go there's a course package so we are gonna do what yarn uh, that's a client i want to go in the uh, i mean i already have that terminal here right yarn odd course it's gonna install course and uh we're gonna import course um there we go um pum, 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 let me think so app uh yeah uh import course from course cool so and after that is just app use course right Ooh, what is going on with my sublime stop dying um session cookie parser i think we can just set it up after login set up course there you go that should do it Okay, um, npm start, and now actually the, um, no, that's the wrong browser. I wanna do it here, one, two, three, login. There we go, bad request. Uh, so probably I sent the wrong parameters. So now we just need to tweak the payload here, basically, and uh, it will start working. Um, let me open up the server. Again, we got test, login test. So it's a login and password. And uh, we don't have remember me. All right, um, so theoretically that should now yield 401 exactly unauthorized, um, which means that uh, we basically kind of implemented login, but to uh, implement, finish its implementation let's put it this way we actually need the register form so what i am gonna do now over here is uh say or uh yeah we actually need a link here now right so i'm gonna go home here and take that link thing uh and i'm gonna copy this one i'm gonna put it here and say um, register, register, there we go. So um, yeah, obviously we will be not found. I'm gonna duplicate this one and call it register. Um, okay, we can close all of that for now. All right, so uh, here's our um, so register. Let's rename it so that if you know actually have any um, problems uh we actually see the correct names on register click okay we don't care about remember here we don't care um okay login action and we need a new action so i'm gonna again copy that and say register action uh do register there we go okay um and i need that do register thing here so um where's my do register there we go okay so here's gonna be register action i mean it's Pretty much the same as login action but just dispatches a different uh type right that that's how the redux works okay there we go um so we got login password um we don't care about this remember box and uh here we're gonna say register i mean in this case you know it looks very similar to a uh, login page actually and i forgot to include it into the roots um, let me copy that and let me copy that register 
it, wait, why did you, no, it should be capital. Register and this should be register and this should be register, there we go. Uh, in this case, as I was saying, the register form looks very similar to a login form, uh, but in reality, you know, there will be different uh, depending on, um, Please register depending on you know how exactly your um, app and flow goes. So now I should be able to switch between login and register. So is the one of three register um, that should have this patch to register action with our payload. Perfect. Now we need to actually add uh, handlers. Okay. So in this case we want. Um, yeah, I guess it's gonna be login um, and then register here, right? So register, I'm gonna again say this is ours and this is hello world, which we will at some point remove, I think. Okay, and uh, boom, 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 boom. Um, yes, you are gonna be login, and uh, we're gonna copy paste this uh, because I mean register method is not particularly different. Let do regi register. Yes, so this is gonna be register, I think, and uh, let me have a look. Login, login, login. Uh, register. So we send login password, and we need a password repeat. Um, sure, why not? Let's add password repeat. Um, so we need that part here. Input password repeat. ID input password repeat. Uh, password repeat password, right? So input password repeat. Um, yeah, we're now missing one variable. Do that and uh, what was the name of it? Password repeat, right? Uh, password input repeat uh, value. That's what we want. Okay, so theoretically that should conform to exactly what we want. So we send it to register and uh, um, yeah, we need register success. Action types, um, export, no, what, no. Export const, there we go. All right, let's check that out. Um, so username ASD, password one to three, one to three, register, register success. And we should see the request here created. So that actually worked out. And I think in a console, yeah. So we now actually have um, a user, right? So and if we wait, what was it? Um, AT81, I think was the no. Um, did, 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 let me think. Um, Docker PS minus A. It's 8090. Okay. Um, what host 8090. So if we go ahead and uh, log in into the thing DB uh, backend, Go into Data Explorer and um, no, it's not SharDB, that's a different project. Um, so, what is the experts DB and table user? And if we just run this query, we should actually see that ASD user which was created today. And I have some really old users here as well, but whatever. All right, so our registration actually works now and um. I believe it actually returns token. No, it doesn't return token. It's just registers. Okay, cool. Uh, so what we can do now is we can uh, actually fix the authentication. Uh, and yeah, we, what we want as well is we want this auth reducer case. Um, yeah, we need to import action types. Uh, action type. Come on. Um, register success, right? I, I think I should just hold this open so that Atom picks up all the uh, names from there. I'm uh, gonna get return here. I'm gonna return the same state, but we gonna, we need to redirect actually, right? So um, wait, react router, and there was react, 
Redux uh, router, whatever. How is it? Yeah, React Router Redux. So, um, wait, I think there was actually a way to redirect without like referencing the router directly. At least before uh, introduction guides, examples, let me, let me have a look. Uh, thing, commutable, blah, 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 middleware. Little reducer, synchronous history, push. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, must provide. You must install it in for the sections creator to work. Okay, so if I use router middleware, I can actually, do I have router middleware? Yes, I do. Which means I can just dispatch events, right? So yeah, this is the way that I used before, but basically if I use that way, then is it the same? I wonder, uh, history, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, you must provide enhanced router, blah, 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 options, push. Okay, I mean, I think we can just use history, right? So that should that should work just fine. Let me see. And uh, in this case, we actually use history over here. Browser history and store. Uh, so I think I'm gonna create a new history JS here so that it's basically accessible. And um, ta -ta -ta, where's my index? So we're gonna do that enhanced history, yes. Um, we are gonna put that here. We are gonna put that here. Obviously we only need browser history here. And we are gonna need, gonna need some empty space here. We're gonna need store here. So this is our packages and this is uh, npm packages. Um, yeah, obviously it's gonna be like this and uh, export. Yeah, I guess I can just export const history, right? And here we're gonna export history uh, from history, there we go. So in here in index, I actually now need to import history Right, and theoretically, I should be able to import um, history from, you, uh, this is what you tell, right? And then I can just say history push uh, login. So in theory, no, I don't want you to save. So what do you don't like? Get state of undefined. Uh, I guess I screwed that up somewhere. History uh, store. So history JS. Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you don't like? It's state of undefined. Okay. Sync. Oh, because the store is probably not initialized there yet which is a bit, no, wait, I mean, if it's import store here, then it should be already created, which doesn't really make sense. Um, okay, let me, let me make sure. Okay, let me restart the webpack just to be sure. And get state of undefined, uh-huh. Okay, uh, store, yes. Uh, so what's the problem? Sync store with history. Huh, I wonder. Oh, it's probably, ah, right, because it will create a cycle dependency. This is ugly, okay, this is not, I, okay. Let's try that in a different way. Let's undo that stuff. Okay, delete history from here. I wonder if I just use browser history and you know, it just kind of 
will work. That will be the perfect way, obviously. Um, so because it does taps on the browser history, uh, like above the browser history, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, so our packages, um, npm packages and insert that. So register, uh, so test, test. No reducers may not dispatch actions. Um, do I really dispatch? Oh yeah, because I uh, push the history. Um, okay, that's the problem. And now I get it. Okay, so which means that push both uh, sections. Okay, um, there was a part about how do I access ruler state? How do I watch for navigation events? No, how do I navigate actually? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, the one thing I can do is actually do a delayed dispatch of uh, navigation events. Um, after the registration success, right? But that doesn't make any sense. Basic example, yeah, crew redux example. Um, let's let's have a look here. Source reducers. So this is probably the uh, packages. Uh, okay, this does work and returns new state. Package. Yeah. Okay. So does it? Nobody actually changes any um, routes. I guess, how the hell do you actually do that correctly? That's a bit confusing. Store dispatch, ah, there we go. Okay, um, dispatch from anywhere like normal. Apply middleware, middleware. Um, Guru middleware browser history. Okay, did I actually do that? Uh, let me think, where's my, here we go. Um, that is where, create store. Apply middleware, combine, uh, okay. No, I didn't, okay. So what we, here's what we need to do. We need to import uh, router middleware. And uh, I guess we combine enhancers. So how do you compose middleware, redux, compose middleware? Um, is that they just pass as parameters or as an array or functions? Uh, okay, so just the, um, okay, let's extract it middlewares. const middlewares and it's gonna be like this and I'm gonna split that again. It's gonna be apply middleware over middleware, right? Am I doing that right? So apply middleware middleware, yes. And then, uh, so we need that. Okay, that looks fine. And then here, push. I mean, I wonder if that will be the same problem. So store dispatch. Yeah, but there's going to be cyclic dependency again. That is not, that doesn't seem to be, to make much sense. Oh God, why? I mean, we can obviously monitor the state inside of the component and, and navigate from there. Um, but I, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess that could. Mm -hmm. So we do current state and plus we say redirect to login true. And in our register page, I guess, you know, that is that an intended way? So it's gonna be 
redirect to login state redirect to login right and here it's going to be redirect to login and then if it's redirect to login um whoops we're just gonna return span just want to return close span we don't care and then we are gonna uh yeah we are gonna do that but in this case uh yeah i guess we need to create a new action for that right so this or a new dispatch i guess that's so gonna be a uh, redirect nav to log let's call it nav to login and there's gonna be a dispatch push login that seems kind of backwards uh, to be honest so and then this push we need to import from here okay yeah that definitely seems a bit backwards i mean this is sort of uh maybe i'm doing that wrong if you know that i'm doing that wrong and you know the correct way of doing that uh then please by all means do let me know i want to know how to do it in a more um kind of sane way i'd say all right so test i uh, already did test let's do test one no wait let's let's log in come on start off with your thing okay uh there we go uh, wait what what how come what what is no login yes uh-huh okay wait wait sorry what what is going on now so here's our state right yes and if i press register nothing really happens did i screw is it because of the middleware I, okay i don't need that here anymore is it because of the middleware i added um let me try to remove that so is that if i remove that yeah it definitely is because of that middleware uh, is it should it be before epics Nope, that just breaks it. Okay. Um, middleware. Okay, so the middleware is what I actually, I, I missed a step, right, okay. So let's do this router middleware. Um, that, that definitely feels a bit backwards uh, that is so much boilerplate okay uh, so we need this browser history from react router over there okay um, yeah, I guess above it so we only need the browser history here Rural middleware uh, let's call it prepared rural middle uh, prepared router middleware and okay this way it basically will start to work yes okay now it works cool so let's say z z z z z z i uh, know that's a login right so I, well, i'm interested in registration right now and uh network register um what's up with that register success redirect to login true but nothing happens okay why does nothing happens um map state to props we did map it to props uh okay uh redirect to login yeah so what the hell um okay let's see if that actually changes yes uh yes so console let's, let's lock that does that actually gets triggered I'm now gonna create a billion of test users because why not it uh, okay uncaught error uh, yeah right okay that's something i actually have to handle right because if it fails 
Um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with errors later on. And so let's do SSS, SSS. Oath. Um, I forgot to, um, I always forget to do that. Yeah, obviously, Oath. Because the state is global and I only want the um, um, Oath substate, right? So, kill that part. Um, Ta-da! Okay, set so state cannot be during... Uh, okay, whose warning is that? Single tails, uh, create store, match words, blah, blah, blah. Wait, I don't use any set state, don't I? Why is it... Or I guess uh, this is be because I trigger it immediately, right? So what I actually want to do, so I want to say set immediate. Which will, which will be executed at the end of the stack. But that oh, it feels so backwards. And now we don't have any errors. Um, okay, let's add a to do here. Um, figure out a better way to nav. Better way, no, come on. Better way to nav, to do navigation, right? So this is what we wanna do. Like if you know, if you really know like the good way to do that, please do let me know because um, this definitely feels like way more backwards than it should be. Okay, we got registration. Uh, so now theoretically we should be able to log in with test te uh, test. And uh, where's our network login 200 and we should get the token back. That is correct. We didn't see anything in console, but in Redux we get login success. Okay, and we actually get the payload, cool. Um, so which means that we need to handle uh, login success over here case action types login uh, success success um, so which means that token is gonna be action payload token and then user is, yeah, I mean, we can just expand action payload, right? Because we don't really care what's inside. Uh, but in this case, we have to say user here is also now. And um, redirect, oh, no, I, I mean, we don't really care. As long as we have, as soon as we have token, we can actually uh, just redirect to home. And no login, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna map here token state oath token, right? And uh, this is gonna be take token from there. And uh, if, uh, let me think, where's, where's, so I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna create a new nav to home. This is gonna be that, and I'm gonna copy this part. It's definitely a ton of boilerplate, uh, and you know, as I already mentioned, this is like one of the things I don't really like about Redux, but I think basically the bigger your app grows, the less you will notice it because the app itself will be like super huge. Uh, I mean, okay, for learning purposes is fine, and um, let me do that. So again, we will need to see if there's a better way of doing that. So if there's a token, we're gonna do nav to home and I forgot to get it here from props. Cool. Uh, so theoretically, uh, we should now be redirected home, perfect. We actually have a token here, but if I refresh, it gets lost, right? So what we want to do is we want to persist this token, which means uh, once we get it over here, what we want to do is uh, we want to storage set user token. Uh, we will set it to our 
action payload token, uh, but we only do that if it's actually there, right? Because we want to set the empty token. Uh, no, we actually do want to do that because if it's broken, then we want to break it. And uh, user data is going to be a uh, user, right? And then the thing is here, uh, we are going to do local storage. I mean, again, this is, you know, very naive and very stupid approach of doing the, uh, like that. I actually think I need this or here because it's going to return undefined anyway, user data. So um, local storage get wait, what was it? Um, where's my MDN local storage? Did I mess something up? Haven't used local storage in a while. Um, was it get item? Set item? Yeah, okay. Set item and um, what about get item, local storage? Set I get item, yeah, okay. Uh, so this is what we're interested in. Cool, so for now, login with test test. And I now refresh the page, we should be on index, perfect. Um, yeah, so this still doesn't work. Cool, um, we have that working. What we need to do is we need to handle the errors correctly, right? Um, bah, 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 let me think, where's the, um, where's the data? I forgot. How can I forget about that? Is it profile not no profiles application? Ah, there we go, clear storage. Yes, clear. Oh, that's actually really cool. I haven't touched that panel for quite a while, but that looks way better than before. And that is exactly what I want to see. Cool. So we now want to handle incorrect logins. Uh, yeah, so okay, obviously now it throws and that now it actually breaks. Um, okay, let's you know what, let's commit. That is actually a lot of changes Do I want to commit that uh, let's go to the server first. Git add this one. Okay, git. Let's check. So we get the course. Yeah, uh, git commit add course support. That's what we want to do. Client. Now let's have a look uh, what we actually git diff and pipe it to Sublime. So we move this stuff to pages, we are detections. Yeah, I mean, there's all kind of one big change, right? So let's yeah, let's, let's just add all of that stuff. Commit implement basic authentication. Uh, implement basic login and register uh, flows, let's call it this way. Okay, so now we have that I don't care about that for now. Right, so uh, errors, right, uh, we want to deal with epics now, right? So we got our auth epics here. And um, the problem is that um, map, I'm going to do catch here. And this is going to be so this is basically going to catch the error and output it. Uh, so if we do that, you're gonna see um, that this is our output, I believe. Okay, this comes from index nine. Uh, yeah, okay, didn't get output it exactly, but um, let's do that say message, right? Message, so if we save that, and if I now try to log in, exactly, so here we go. This is our um, catch thing. Uh, what we want to do here is I actually want to do that after everything, right? And uh, if we have an error, I want to return a new thing, which is type action types login error. So let's start with just handing in login payload. Um, we're gonna say message and it's gonna be error message, right? 
um, no, it's actually, uh, let's, let's just say error can be equal error and we will handle error already on the client side. Okay, so it's gonna, I gonna need to create this uh, export const login error, right? And uh, I think that's basically it. So if we have a look at the Redux part now, if I uh, do this wrongly, I should actually, uh, unknown type returned. Oh yeah, um, I should return an observable here, I think. Observable, uh, do they still have the just method? Um, okay, I don't need all of this stuff now. Let me have a look at the RxJS docs. Okay, um, come on. Happy documentation and observable. I need methods. No, that's not methods. Wait, that doesn't even look like. Yes, I want observable. Create lift. Wait, that's all there is? No, that can be true. Um, subscribe for each. Okay. Um, tutorial. From okay, I can just do observable from right. Cool. So that should be that should be uh, object is not observable. Right. Okay, you can only do it from array, from promise, from event. Wait. Um, they have just or no state stores. Blah blah blah. Merge. Ooh, come on. Multiple. Ah, okay. Off should be one or more values, right? There we go. And uh, now in Redux, we should see login error with payload that says error. Cool. Okay, so we added error handling here. And I mean, we can do the same for uh, registration except this is gonna be register error, okay. And uh, wait, so we don't care about that right now. And I need to add export cons register error here, right? Okay, we added them here and now we need to handle them in the UIs actually, right? So we're interested in login. Let's do that first. Um, we error error uh, no wait first we need to handle them in um, reducers so those are success case ac action types login error and actually because it's exactly the same format register um, that should be error what we can do is we can return um, error action payload error right because we don't um, no we do have to return the old state as well so we return the initial state plus error okay and now uh, here we can say state oath uh, error so we're gonna get error here and um, let's see, get bootstrap. There was a bootstrap uh, error component, which we can just use to, you know, display it nicely. Alert, there we go. So warning, yes, that's what I want. I'm gonna say, um, it's basically gonna be error if error is there, show this, otherwise show nothing. Last name, alert warning, roll alert, yes. And you're gonna insert error here. Message, uh, you know, just to see if that works. Um, there we go. Um, wait, that's warning, I want a danger. We need danger, right? We want it to be red. So, cool. So we now get our error, but you know, that message is not exactly uh, readable. So I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create um, 
guess that's going to be util because no, that's not going to be util. That's going to be here. Const error to message. Um, no, that is going to be util because there's might be a lot more, uh, a lot more options than basically um, we have. Okay, export const login error to message. It's going to be error here. And uh, okay, let me, let me do that. Export from error to message. There you go. Okay, uh, if error think, where's the Redux thing? Um, bum, 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 action status, yeah, so status uh, 401. So if it's 401, then we return error. Otherwise, we just like in the end, we just return error message. And if it's an error, uh, if it's 401, that means that we have the wrong login or password. So we're going to say wrong login or password. Please try again, right? Cool. And now we import that. So it's going to be our packages, npm packages. I'm going to import from um, util login and uh, this is what I'm gonna do here, right? So I'm gonna use this function to actually transform error to something human readable. So if we try to log in with whatever we get um, actually a proper warning um, test, test, and now I should be logged in. Perfect. Cool. Um, application clear storage, yes, wipe it, uh, reload and now registration error. So basically, we should uh, do the same thing. And um, pum, 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 error. So this is going to be regist register error to message. I'm going to just blatantly copy this and uh, we're going to export it from here. Cool. So um, yeah, we don't need that. Right. So and um, mm -hmm. Now we do to do the same here. So this is going to be our packages. It's going to be npm packages uh, register action. So uh, where's the error register error to message? Then state. Uh, yes, I need that state. Mm, do I need anything else? No, I think I just need to say error here. And I basically need to display it, right? Okay. I'm not sure the uh, registration error has the same format, but we will check it in a moment. Okay, so if we register here, um, let's have a look. So we got payload error 403. Request body uh, response headers uh, XHR. Wait a second. Uh, I think I outputted some errors there. User. Okay, we got the body as error actually. So in the registration case, we can uh, provide a bit more information, but for that, we need to modify uh, this stuff. Okay, so. Um, error is going to be well, what does it actually gives? Let's have a look here. So we got headers. No, wait, that's request. Yeah, I mean, I, I should be able to actually no wait, I don't need to modify that, right? I should be able to access. Um, let's do this console log error. So for if I log it from here, I should actually get access to the whole um, error thing. Ajax error request um, XHR and then response. Exactly, that's what I want. So error uh, XHR response um, error. 
Okay, and that is assuming there is XHR and there is uh, there is a response basically, right? So that's what I'm gonna do if response and response error. So if there is any uh, error from server, then I'm just gonna give it back. 403, let's just say, whoops, something went wrong. So basically if we don't know whatever happens, uh, we just say something went wrong. And in the worst case, we just return the message itself, which is not helpful at all, but you know, at least the user will see some results. Cool, so we say user already exists and um, let's try test test and then we enter different passwords. We should see passwords not match. Ajax error 400. Uh, I get, wait, wait. Okay, because we got the old registration error in there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense which means that once we are, um, once we have success, we actually register success, we actually need to remove. So we actually don't care about the other state, right? Because we just registered, so all other state that can be there are just like errors and other bollocks that we don't care about. Yep, now uh, let's try that again, register. Um, test one, one of three, one of three. No, wait, let's try that. So we, now we have an error. Now I fixed the passwords and now it works. Cool. Test, test. There we go. Uh, so we actually have a working authentication system that uh, shows us errors and my hyper terminal is frozen again, which is mildly annoying. Okay, um, let me restart that. Hyper. Come on. So, I'm jump into my folder here. Um, cool. So, git commit. Um, handle errors during login and re register and display them them to user. Done. So git status, git push, right? Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Um, so we finished the authentication procedures. Basically, after that, we can start uh, just going through the um, methods of the uh, wait server. So just take the test cases and uh, you know go through it. We basically what we created login stuff, we created register stuff. Uh, we need to create a user page. We need to create questions list, and we need to create creation of the questions basically, and that's it, right? After that, we we'll kind of have the bare bones version that has the core functionality. So uh, yeah, I guess next time we're gonna work with users and. If that's quick enough, we're going to work with questions. If not, then I'm going to have like another live stream where I would implement question stuff. And after that, we're going to move to deployment and, you know, wrapping all that stuff up. So thank you for watching. And as always, see you next time. Bye.